The Nyasa Reserve is situated in northern Mozambique. At 16,000 square miles or 42,000 square kilometers, it is the largest protected area in Mozambique. It's one of only eight places left in the world home to more than 1,000 lions. The Nyasa Carnival project has been in operation here since 2003. Before the project started, there was little knowledge on what carnivals lived in the reserve or how many there were. There were very few reports of lion prides and cubs. There were also reports of lions disappearing without explanation. To understand the threats to lions in such a remote area, and with very little infrastructure, we had to find ways to monitor them to find out what was happening to them. We had to first identify individuals in the smaller study area and get to know them. This was done by radio collaring and tracking. By radio collaring them, we could track their daily movements, find out what happened to the cubs, find out why there were constantly new males and why they were dying, what the potential threats are to lions, where the territorial males were going, and if they were dying of diseases spread from domestic dogs. One of our key priorities of the project is to involve the people who live in the Nyasa Reserve in all of our conservation programs. We believe this is the only way to have long-term success in resolving human-wildlife conflict. Sometimes, lions without a pride travel huge distances. There have been instances where they have left the safety of the reserve and have been killed. An aircraft is essential to finding them and keeping track of them. Eusebio, our most skilled tracker, comes from the neighboring village. He refers to the lions as his family. Each day, Eusebio tracks the lions and monitors their behavior in detail. Every two to three years, in conjunction with the reserve management team, the project undertakes night surveys to count and monitor the population of large carnivores that are not only in the study area, but throughout the whole Nyasa Reserve. One of our most valuable tools for monitoring lions and their cubs, as well as other species, is the use of remote camera traps. We can also track the movements of all large carnivores and their prey. Agostino Jorge is our conservation manager and is an expert on camera trapping. Agostino used the data from these camera traps for his master's degree on leopards. The lion population count is directly linked to prey. With the population under threat, we need to ascertain if they have enough food, and if not, where has their food disappeared. We have even photographed ivory poachers caught unaware by the camera traps. Tracking lions and their prey enables the project to see what species of prey is more common and also if there is enough. When lions have no natural prey as a food resource, they can turn to domestic livestock and sometimes attack people. With all of this information and research, we are able to determine what the threats and challenges are to the lions in the Nyasa Reserve and if we're being successful in our aim to protect them. Statistics have shown that the major threat to lions are snares intended to catch bushmeat. The people living in the Nyasa Reserve lay snares to catch animals for food. Not only does this reduce the population of lion food, 
the traps also inadvertently end up killing lions. Nearly half the lions we've radio collared have been killed in snares and traps. However, since working with the community, this statistic has been greatly reduced. Domestic dogs living in the reserve bring a risk of disease to wild animals, including lions. Although domestic dogs do not currently present a major risk, the increase of dogs in the villages needs to be monitored and regulated. A major new threat that's on the increase is the use of poisons to kill lions and other animals for the bone and skin trade in Asia. With ongoing, long-term, successful monitoring, we have come to know what the threats to lions are and how the lions are doing. And we can work with the communities to take productive measures to start resolving these issues.